All right, we talked about present tense verbs. Now it is time for us to focus on past tense verbs, which means it is something that has already happened. We're going to be talking about regular verbs, and then I'm going to give you a list of irregular verbs that you can use as reference when you are working with past tense verbs. So first of all, we're going to title our page past tense verbs. And if we remember, verbs are action words, words that we can, things that we can do. So the first thing that I'm going to write is regular, most past tense, verbs are formed by adding ed on the end of the word. such as I'm going to give you the present tense and I'm going to give you it in the past tense. These are called regular verbs. Okay. Walk turns to walked. Smile turns to smiled, play, turns to played, you can see the pattern here, call, turns to called, look, is looked, stay, goes to stayed, Open, goes to opened, jump, goes to jump, and one more, jumped, and one more, okay, so those are regular forms. Sometimes we have irregulars. Some verbs stay the same. In present and past. Like, hit, is still hit, put, is still put, like I can say, I I hit the baseball every afternoon, or I hit the ball hard yesterday. It's still the same, okay? Put, I usually put it on the table. She put it over there. This is present. This is past. Okay. Stays the same. And one more is shut. Please shut the door. Why is that door shut? Why didn't you shut the refrigerator? The fridge, why don't you shut the fridge? Same thing. All right, and then 
many verbs do not follow the rules and are called irregular. I'm actually going to attach a list of irregular verbs so that you can take a look at them because it is quite a bit and a lot to write.